Hey guys, this is Mickey from CoinOpNewYork.com and Mickey's Antique Amusements on Facebook. And you can reach me at area code 585-747-0605. And we are looking at a 1950s Seabird wall box. This is a 3W1 200 Select wall box. And we have the cover off. Here's the cover. And then here's the internals of the wall box. And what we've done is hooked up a iPod to wall box adapter. What does that mean? It's a way of this wall box communicating with the iPod to play the music. And you can either play it on your uh, stereo system at home through AV audio video cables, or you can play it with a Bluetooth speaker. Well, you say, Mickey, how can we? Do, how does that really happen? What, what's the deal? Well, the deal is is over here on the side. This is the communication center of the wall box. This sends a signal to the original 1950 Seabird wall box to tell it to play the or to pick up the record and play it. What they what this company has done, CDAdapter.com or DataSync Engineering, is is they've made us a, uh, a iPod to wall box adapter that allows you that when this thing rotates around and it goes over these rivets, it sends the signal to the iPod adapter. So one of the things you want to do is clean these rivets here with uh, Brassall. You can buy at any supermarket or uh, Walmart and uh, with some steel wool and clean those rivets really good and clean the contact point on the back side of that. Um, so here are the title, flip, title strip, strip trays. If you lift up on these little latches, that'll allow you to take it out, as you can see. And as you go through that, you can actually pull these title strips out and change them out. So that's how you do that. And we have a program for that to make your title strips. So um, they come out professional. This allows you to change the light bulbs here. And um, it's got two little holes on the bottom here. So when you put it back in, you want to put it back on here and uh, you'll set it right up in there when you put it on and then latch it back on when you're done like that. So all right, let's take this off. Okay, put that to the side. Here is the iPod to wall box adapter. We've got green tape around it, but this is the system that we bought and, and it has wires going off at a power supply, the wire, white wire that goes to the iPod, um, the wires that go into over here to um, wire so it, it communicates with the communication system here and what we do is we bunch these wires up we tape them off and we stick it right behind where this goes to, to sort of hide it in here so that's what we do okay so looking at this system you've got your your little connectors here we've got two wires coming up from the coin switches okay and these attach right here and you twist these on and then you put your wire nuts on right here these gray wire nuts we twist that together and then what that allows us to do when we put this wall box when we put the, this back onto the uh, wall boxes is we have a little button here and if you push that that simulates a uh, a quarter drop which will give you four plays or three plays however you set up your system so let's go around to the back here well before we go around to the back let's go ahead and we had pulled the we had pulled the two screws here, okay, for this plate right here. We just dropped those screws down in there on the ground here, so that's no problem. And you can see behind this plate, there's this little switch here. You can see, and when we push the buttons in, you can sort of see it sort of makes or breaks. You see that? So let's just spin this around. So anyways, this switch needs to be cleaned. If you're going to be working on these wall boxes, you'll need to remove this plate and clean that switch along with removing the plate here and cleaning and cleaning uh, the switch underneath here. There's the exact same switch underneath there. All right, so let's go to the back of the wall box and show you what we got coming out the back, okay? Let's go ahead and do that. So what we got coming out the back is the power supply. And this is the power supply right here. 
This is uh, what we use to power up just the wall box. Okay, not the iPod to wall box adapter, and that's wired to those nuts, so that's got to get plugged into the wall. And then this is the uh, power supply coming out the back again for the iPod to wall box adapter. So that gets plugged in. So you've got two things to plug in. Then you've got your RCA uh, AV cables, red and white, and you can add on the female connectors and run a long one to your AV stereo receiver if you want, or you can use Bluetooth. Okay, and how do we use Bluetooth? Well, we have this white wire running up and there's extra wire. We don't want it inside the box because it takes up too much space. So what we have here is a Bluetooth sending unit and we have the iPod and then we have the cord coming off the wall box adapter that data sync sells. And then we have this little go between here because if we plug this directly into the iPod, it will not charge it. This reduces the amount of voltage going in and it allows you to keep this iPod charged continuously so the iPod battery could be bad and you could still use it so let's let's go ahead and take off this and see is the velcroed that's my little iPod uh, wall box adapter well we use this as a Bluetooth sending unit these are about twenty dollars on eBay so that goes there and then if we undo this as you can see we have your iPod right there let's turn it as you can see there's the iPod and then this is the uh, the velcro for this so basically what you do is you you put it back together and then you just put line it up with your velcro and then you plug in your little Bluetooth sending unit into the headphone jack and there you go you've got a system right there and what this does is it allows you to hide this on the back of the wall box without having it in because It'd be If you have it in the wall box, it's hard to turn on the Bluetooth and sync up your Bluetooth speaker. If you want to change songs or make some adjustments to the iPod, it's better to be back here than inside and you've got to open the cover. So that's the way we designed it to do it. It's on the back, so when you, when you have your wall box up against the, uh, you know, wherever your wall or whatever you're doing, you won't see any of that. So there you go. There is a description and... Um, of what the wall box is, what the wall box, the iPod adapter is. There's different things you got to do. You've got to wire it in properly and follow instructions and do some cleaning and there's extra switches and stuff in there. But I want to show you how to do that. You can get in here and change your light bulbs like that. There's a light bulb up here. There's two here, one here, and there's two down here. So, And there's little clips that hold them that you can lift it up. So there you go. There's a, a look at so when I put this back together, I'm going to tie these little wires together. I'm going to twist them together, and then I'm going to put the wire nuts over them, and then I'm going to close this unit off, and that's how that works. This still works on coins. You can put a quarter in, and it'll still do the same thing as, as if you push that button. So you can do either or. Okay, well, this is Mickey from CoinOpNewYork.com and Mickey's Antique Amusements. If you're interested in one of these and you want one for your for your home or your game room, give me a call. My number is 585-747-0605. I'm located in Rochester, New York, and I'd be happy to do one for you. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.